Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the six things that I wish I knew before I started my life. So in my last video where I talked about not having a retwist for seven months, there was a request in the comments for me to make a video about why I started my lot journey. The main reason why I started it was because I had already done everything to my natural hair aside from locking it. I actually wanted to start locks back in 2015. Instead of me actually starting my lock journey, I decided to cut my hair off. It was like clipper cut short and it required a lot of maintenance. So after a year of wearing a short, I was over it. I decided to let my hair grow back and it took me about a year to go from literally clipper cut short to shoulder length, probably beyond that. So it grew back really fast and I wore it loose natural hair for about three years before I decided to start my locks on 2220. I started them with two strand twists and I have about 79 locks. The first thing that I wish I knew before I started my locks was the shrinkage that I would have. The amount of shrinkage I had was actually kind of disheartening because when I started my two strand twists they were pretty much shoulder length and I thought that they were gonna be like that. And within a month, they were like way up to my ears. I also didn't know the amount of frizz that I'd have. I had super frizzy locks. And even though I had researched the stages of locks, I just thought that I was gonna have like these smooth cylinder looking locks. I didn't realize how unique the look of locks is. And it's basically just like loose natural hair. There's no two heads the same, and I equate it to that of a fingerprint, literally. Very, very unique. The second thing I wish I knew is that my journey was gonna include an internal transformation. So like I said, I started during the pandemic, and because my locks didn't look the way that I was used to looking, and by that I mean I'm a natural hairstylist, so even if it was just a bun, my hair was always styled. Like it was always neatly groomed, it always looked good. And when I locked, I didn't have the ability to do that anymore. And it was a couple of times where it ran across my mind like, oh, I could just comb these out and slick my hair back into a wavy bun and have my confidence back. But that was never an option. I was always committed to the journey. But it definitely ignited something inside of me to want to look within because I no longer had that outer exterior to cling to, right? The outer beauty I didn't feel anymore. So it forced me to look inside like, okay, I might not feel as beautiful on the outside, but how do I feel about myself on the inside? Like that's really what matters and very flawed. Like a lot of things that I wanted to change about myself that I was able to really hone in on that I'm still working on, but it shifted that for me to really look inside. I was hiding behind head wraps the first like seven months of my journey because they actually really help with my self-esteem. They help me feel pretty again, but either way, when it's just me at home and I'm not in a head wrap and my locks are like going in all these different directions and they're frizzy and they're short, it really did take a toll on my self-esteem. And I just wanna share this story about how that changed. So, like I said, I started them during the pandemic, which was in February. About a month later, the pandemic hit. And in August, I decided to take a trip to Los Angeles and I was there for 10 days. And I had read somewhere that if you put your locks in salt water, ocean water, that it'll make them lock quicker. So almost every day that I was there, I got in the ocean water, but I would get out and be able to like put my head wrap on. And this one day when I went, I didn't have my head wrap. And I'm walking down Venice Beach, Boulevard, Ocean Drive, whatever the street is, and I felt like I looked like a hot mess. But as I'm walking, people, total strangers, men, women, different races were like, oh, I like your hair. I like your locks. And I'm like, I know they ain't talking to me. You know what I mean? And they actually were. And that was the biggest game changer for me because a lot of what I felt was like self-doubt. And it was like self-talk. It wasn't a fact. I thought that I looked horrific with my locks out because they were ungroomed, they're frizzy, they're going in all these different directions. 
but yet there's total strangers validating the opposite like no your locks look good like they weren't saying no your locks look good but you know i'd stop somewhere at a boot and they'd be like oh i like your hair or i like your locks and i'm just like okay like that was a game changer at that point i stopped hiding behind the head wraps i stopped caring about the frizz i was completely comfortable with just letting them do what they do okay so that was the pivotal game changing moment for me at about month seven the next thing i wish that i would have known before i started my life journey was the laziness that i would have with retwisting like i said in my last video i talked about how i went seven months with no retwist and i did focus on keeping my scalp clean keeping my locks moisturized but because i do my own hair i was really lazy about retwisting i never should have gone that long but i kind of like rationalized it and I'm not gonna go that long again because at the end of the day, no, it's not about keeping my locks constantly retwisted, but at the same time, it is important to keep them groomed. When you retwist, it actually helps you shape the way you want your locks to be as well, in my opinion. At the end of the day, like I have to admit that I didn't think that I was gonna end up being lazy when it came to that, but I was. And being able to use head wraps again, like I did prior to my seventh month, I was heavily relying on that in these past seven months. And so, yeah, I wish I would have known that that can be something that happens when you lock. Like you can, you can get lazy because it's just easy to get lazy with locks. Like they require so minimal care and focus and attention that you can fall into that slippery slope. So won't be doing that again though. And the fourth thing that I wish I knew prior to locking was that my focus was gonna change from the length goal that I had to just really appreciating the commitment. And by that I mean, when I went into it, I had this picture of this sister with like super long locks. And I was like, man, I want that. Like I was really fixated on having hip length locks. And then around the first year, I was really like, you know what? Yeah, I've committed to this year. Around the second year, again, I've committed to this year. But at the end of the day, it's the commitment. Like now when I see somebody with really long, pretty locks, I don't look at it like, oh my God, I want her locks or I want his locks. Now it's like, man, I admire the commitment that it takes for it to get that long. Like that part shifted that in the beginning, I didn't think that it was going to be like that. In the beginning, I was so fixated on reaching that length goal that the real journey is where it's at. It's not in the destination. Definitely changed my focus on length to just honoring the commitment and being proud of the fact that I've been able to be locked now three years and staying committed to that. The fifth thing that I wish I would have known was how much of a confidence builder it was going to be as my locks started to get longer, not due to the length, but again, just staying committed using it as an inspiration to commit to other positive changes like eating better, focusing on my comedic yoga practice and making that consistent, which I'm still a work in progress on both of those. But a lot of times when you start a lock journey, it can definitely kick off journeys in other parts of your life. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't know that because I didn't like the way that my locks looked, it was going to force me to now look at taking internal inventory of who I am, my character, how I show up for people, how I show up for the people that I love, right? And really wanting to be the best person that I can be for myself so that it can trickle down to the people that I love and care about and just anyone that I come into contact with because yeah I had a lot of character flaws that I still work on to this day but at the end of the day I have been able to really recognize that okay me starting these locks is a journey that has also trickled down to me 
focusing on being committed to other things that are positive in my life. And I wish I would have known that from the beginning. I didn't know, but it is something positive. Okay, it's nothing negative about that. And the sixth and final thing that I wish I would have known before I start my locks is that I would inspire so many other women to lock their hair. Every single time I post a photo, there's always comments under my posts either saying that I, insp I already inspired them and that's why they started their locks or they're waiting on their hair to get longer so that they can start their locks. Each day that you wait to start your locks, you could have began. Again, it's a journey, right? And if there's a certain destination that you wanna to get to, which a lot of us start because we want longer hair, right? The goal is to have these long locks. Each day that you wait to start is a day away from you reaching that goal. So I say to you, if you wanna start locks, do it. If your hair is at the length that you wanna start, start. Don't hesitate, don't be afraid. Go ahead, do what you have to do because when you wait, you're just prolonging where you could have been, right? If you want to start today, a year from today, your hair is going to look completely different. It's going to be 10 times healthier. Don't hesitate. That's my advice. Do not hesitate if you want to start. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to hear how you started your locks, where you're at in your journey, any goals that you have. If you have any questions about locks, feel free to drop them in the comments. I always respond and I will see you in the next video. Peace.